Oh, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Rev. Mike Eniola. Welcome to Friday, the 25th day of August 2023. Open your mouth this morning and let me pray for you and bless you prophetically. Today, I want to pray in continuation of the prayers we prayed yesterday. Today, I want to pray for a group of people that money doesn't meet another money in their hand. Maybe you are among them. I want to pray that from today, it will no longer be like that in your life. In the name of Jesus, I remember the story of a pastor who money never meets another money in his hand. Even if it is 500 naira until he's finished spending the money before another one will enter into his hand. I want to pray for you as you hear me and you are saying Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the demon and the spirit that is responsible for blockage of money in your life, I banish it in the name of Jesus. I decree that from today, money will not finish in your hand before another money will enter. I say from today, money will not finish in your bank account before another one will enter. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you believe the prayer I am praying for you this morning and you are saying amen, so shall it be that money will always meet money in your account. Money will always meet money in your hand. Money will always meet money in your finances, in your wallet. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray and I cast out the demon and the spirit of lack and poverty. I banish it from somebody's life this Friday morning in the name of Jesus Christ. I open your heavens today. I declare your heavens open in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, I pray for somebody this morning. You are expecting a payment somewhere. There is a job you have done when the time came for you to be paid. There is a long drama and all the rest. But I am connecting to God's anointing this morning. I don't know where you are. But I see within the next 24 hours, your money shall be paid to you. God is causing a kind of alignment and a reorganization in that place. You will be called for and your money shall be paid in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody is going to receive a huge payment for a job done now in Jesus' name. Every one of us, as we go out today, the Lord will go before you. His presence will envelope you and His grace will will be upon your life. You will not be available in the place or places of crisis and disaster today. In Jesus' name, you will not be involved in accidents today. God will secure your life. God will secure the life of your family members. In Jesus' name, you are blessed and you are lifted. Somebody shout, Amen. I believe as I receive. Praise God. Beloved, like I said yesterday, I still want to repeat, if I were you, I will key and connect to the prophetic prayers of yesterday and today. Either with seed or by whatever the means the Lord laid in your heart, connect and receive your miracle. Today, we are reading the book of Leviticus chapter 3 and 4. We began Second, well, we started reading the book of Leviticus yesterday. We read chapters 1 and 2. Today, we are reading chapters 3 and 4 of the book of Leviticus, chapters 3 and 4. God bless you as you read meditatively. Now, let's continue the word of God, strong enemies of miracles, strong enemies. When we talk about strong enemies, we are talking about certain personalities that can make miracles to elude one, that can make one to, to be denied of miracles. God is the author and the doer of miracles, but the devil can stampede, the devil can impede the miracles coming into your life if certain things are not checked out. Number one, we talk about pride. The Bible says God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. If you are a proud person, then don't expect miracle from God. You say number two, unforgiveness. If you don't forgive people, then God will not forgive you. And if you don't forgive people, then don't expect God to answer your prayers. It is when your prayers are answered, then you can say you are receiving miracle. Then yesterday we talked about wrong attitude. Wrong association has led so many people into not having miracles. We talk about wrong attitude, bad character, bad behavior that can send people away from you. People will just be distancing themselves from you because of your bad and wrong attitude. Today, we want to talk about wrong company. Wrong company. There are many people today 
that the reason why they are not getting what they are looking for is because of the company they keep, because of the association they belong to. If you look at the book of Genesis chapter 13, Genesis chapter 13, reading verses 14 and 15, Genesis 13 verses 14 and 15. But before then, God told Abraham in Genesis chapter 12 that he should leave his father's house he should leave his kindred and he should leave his country and go and start a fresh life and relationship. But Abraham, as soon as he left with his wife, and Lord, Lord happened to be the son of his late elder brother, so he was staying with him and they moved together. And the, as the journey continued, Abraham became a great man and Lord too, by virtue of staying with Abraham, God also blessed him. And then there was misunderstanding. But God, there was a certain level that God couldn't have taken Abraham to because of the presence of Lot in his company. Let's look at Genesis chapter 13, verses 14 and 15. It says, And the Lord said to Abraham, After Lot has separated from him, lift up your eyes now and look from the place where you are, northward, southward, eastward, and westward. Verse 15, For all the land which you see, I give to you and to your descendant forever. Why? Why did God have to wait till after Lord has separated? God wanted Lord to go away before he could release this next prophecy and miracle to Abraham. God knew if Lord had been there, that guy could have you no know, contested that property with Abraham. So God caused a separation. As you are hearing me this morning, if you keep a bad and a wrong company, there are some miracles that you cannot expect in your life. You cannot get there. No matter how you pray, no matter how you fast, God will tell you, keep away from wrong company. Wrong company is very serious and a very strong enemy of miracle. Miracles are still happening to tomorrow. But God, he will not want you to be a proud person. He will not want you to practice unforgiveness. He wouldn't want you to have a wrong and bad attitude. And God will not want you to keep wrong company. He will want you to follow decent and nice people. So I put it to you this morning. Don't be an enemy to yourself by following bad people. Don't be an enemy to yourself by following wrong company. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. If you are in any relationship that is ungodly, if you are in any company or fellowship or association that is anti-God, I pray you out of it in Jesus' name. I speak to your life today that your miracles that are coming, no power will stop it. They will come and you will testify. God bless you. Please read your Bible today. Leviticus chapters 3 and 4. Leviticus chapters 3 and 4. God bless you. Have a wonderful and a glorious day. Amen.